Okay, here we go. Here's your warm up. We're going to do this verbally. You don't have to write anything down. You just have to look and I'll sort of guide you through this. And we have to answer whether it's true or false based off of the picture that they show us up top. If you look at it, even before you read it, is that an enlargement or is that a reduction? It's an enlargement, right? Because you can see OP is smaller than OP prime. So it is an enlargement. And then we read it and it tells us that the center of dilation is O and the scale factor is five. So based off of that information, we're going to see if these six questions are true or false. So number one says if OP is two, so I'm going to put a little two right there, then OP prime is 10. Is that true or is that false? What's the scale factor? Five. So is two times five, 10? Yeah, so that would be true. Okay, so number one would be true. And then it says OP prime. So we know that OP prime is 10. Is 10 divided by OP, which is 2. Is 10 divided by 2, 5? Yep. yep, so that's true. Then it says it changes OP. It's no longer 2. They say that OP is now 4. Then P to P prime is 20. So if OP is 4, is P to P prime 20? Well, what's the scale factor? 5. So what's 4 times 5? 20. So the whole thing is 20. So from here to here, can that be 20? No, that would have to be what number? Nope. The whole thing is 20. This piece is 4, so this piece has to be not 15, but 16, right? 4 plus 16 would have to give us the whole thing. So that is a false. Then it says... OP, I'm going to go back to my original, easier numbers to work with. So we know that this was 10 and this was 2. This is the easiest set to work with. It says OP, so 2 equals 5 times OP prime. So 2 equals 5 times 10. Does 2 equal 50? I don't think so. So that would be false. And then it says now they're going to change it. And they're going to say if OP prime is 30, so if the whole thing is 30, then OP is 6. Is that true or false? What's the scale factor? 5. So what's 6 times 5? So that works, right? So that is true. And then the last one, OP, so let's leave these numbers that we already have. OP, which is 6, equals one-fifth of OP prime. OP prime is 30. So what's one-fifth of 30? 6, so it works, right? So the first two were true. The middle two were false. The last two were true. All right, here we go. You're in your math book, and you are on page, are we in the 60s yet? 63. 63. We're on page 63. You have a ruler. Did anyone not get a ruler? You'll need a ruler for everything today. Okay. So it says, draw and label the image triangle ULB under a dilation with the center O and a scale factor of two. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line with our ruler starting at the center O through U and extend it long enough. So since we know we're doing a scale factor of two, make sure you extend it 
enough. So there you go. Thank you, sir. And then we're going to do the same thing with O through B. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, and we're going to go from center O through L. And then with our line paper, we can figure out what my triangle is going to look like because I want to do a scale factor of two, so I want to double it. So how many lines down from O did we have to go to get to U? How many lines down? Three, right? So here's one, there's two, there's three. So U is three lines down. So if I want a scale factor of two, what's three times two? Six. So you're going to put, let's see, I'm going to change up my color. I'm going to do everything in green. So I'm going to go down six. So there's three, four, five, six. So you're going to put six lines down. You're going to put a point right there. And you're going to call that what? U prime. And then from O to B, how many lines down did I go from O to B? Five. So if I want to double it because the scale factor is two, how far do I want to go down? Ten. So I want to go down ten. So one, two, three, four. So I was already at five, so I went down five more. And what am I going to call that? B prime. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for L. Well, U and L were the same. <laughs> we're going to ignore that. U and L were the same height, so they were both three. So that means L prime needs to be what? Six. So this is L prime. So now we have U prime, we have L prime, we have B prime with your ruler. Make your image. It's an enlargement. We used a scale factor of two. So if I look, UL should be half the size as U prime L prime. So this black line right here segment should be half as long as this. This should be two times larger. Every one of these black line segments should be half the size of the green because we're using a scale factor of two. Now, here's another question. We don't necessarily need it for right now, but sort of keeps your mind working. How many of these black triangles would fit inside the green triangle? Three. I've heard two. I heard three. Anyone want to go higher? Five. Not five. Four. four is correct. Yeah. You would have four because the scale factor is two. So that means it's two times bigger this way. It's also two times bigger this way. So two times two is four, right? Because we're expanding it both directions. So two dimensionally, it is four times larger. So we take this and we can put it in there. You can have four of those. Okay. Example two. Now, I've already started this process for you, and we have to do a bunch of measuring on this. So it says, draw and label the image of figure genes under a dilation with center O and a scale factor of three. So we're going to have to, so you have plenty of room, write OS, ON, OA, OE, OJ, and then we're going to do the distance of the image. And then we're going to take, and I'm going to do this all in one color. I'm going to take a ruler, and I'm going to go from O through S. 
And I'm just gonna make sure it's long enough so that when I plot my point for O or for S prime, that it's gonna fall on that. And I have to do this for all five. So I have to do starting with O through N And then I have to go O through A. And then I have to go O through E. And then last, I have to go O through J. Okay, so now we have to measure. Have to be as precise as possible. So we have five measurements that we have to do. We have to measure O, S, and then O, N, and then OA, and then OE, and then OJ, and then we're using a scale factor of three. So we're gonna take every one of those measurements and we're gonna times it by three. So we'll start with OS. What do you think for OS? Make sure yours, I like 1.7, would you agree? 1.7? So it's 1.7 centimeters. And then let's do O N. Two point seven. I like 2.7. And then we're going to do O A. One point nine. I like 1.9. And then we're going to go OE. 2.5. I think it's 2.4. I think it's a little less than 2.5. I'm going to go 2.4. And then OJ. I like two. You like two? Okay, so then our task as we draw our dilation is to use a scale factor of three. So this is an enlargement. So I'm going to take every one of my original measurements and I'm going to times it by three. So do we know what, let's go a different color. Do we know what 1.7 times three is? Anybody? What's one times three? Three, what's 0.7 times three? 2.1, so what's three plus 2.1? 5.1. And then 2.7 times three, what's two times three? Six, what's 0.7 times three? 2.1, so what's six plus 2.1? 8.1. Then we go 1.9 times 3. What's 1 times 3? 3. What's 0.9 times 3? 2.7. So what's 3 plus 2.7? 5.7. 2. 2. 2.4 times 3. Now, we actually, if you remember this from a couple of days ago, I think we did this over and over and over. 2.4 times 3. 7.2, there you go. So as you see numbers and you've seen the same problems, you start to remember. And here's our easy one, two times three, six. Okay, so what you must do is you now know what each of these should be as far as your dilation. So OS prime should be 5.1 centimeters away from this. Now I don't have a ruler to use, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna just sort of Looking at this, I'm going to say there's one, there's two, there's three. So if I triple it, 
and I'm going to put S prime right there. And I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the O N prime. So there's one, two, So there's n prime, but you're using your measurements since you have a ruler. I'm going to leave it so I don't have. And then I'm going to go 5.7 centimeters for my a prime. And then I'm going to go 7.2 centimeters for my E prime. And then my J prime is going to be six. And so once you're done with your five, you're going to make your Shape looks something like that. So we have our original measurements. We took all of our original measurements and we multiplied by three. We get our enlarged figure. Can someone tell me as far as the area, how much bigger is this area compared to this area? Nine, Nine times. How'd you get that? Three times three, right? So whatever the scale factor is, if you want to know the difference in the area, you just square the the scale factor. And then this black JS, since the scale factor is three, will be one third the size of this maroon J prime S prime. So it would take three of these to make that. So all your line segments would be three times larger. And then the area would be nine times larger. Okay. For example, three A. Now notice, look at the scale factor. What do you notice? It's a reduction. It's a fraction, right? So my, I don't have a center of dilation as far as an O. My dilation has a center that is V. So this is my center. So V and V prime do not change. However, T and T prime will change. E and E prime will change. And S and S prime will change. So the first thing I want us to do is I want us to, do I have to draw a line through T from V? No, you already have a line there, right? And since it's a reduction, we have a line. Do you have to draw a line for V and E? No, you do not. Do you have to draw a line for V and S? Yes, you do. So draw one line. right through there. Now notice for number three, we have three different parts. We have A, where we're going to draw and label the image. B, we have to fill out a table. And then C, we're going to make sure that we did it correctly. So if I look at A, I'm not going to draw it yet until I fill out B. So I'm going to fill out my table. So I'm going to fill out my table based off of using my ruler. And let's do the original measurements first. What is the measurement of VE? What's the measurement of VE? 
3.4. I like 3.4. So for 3B, your first one's going to be 3.4 centimeters. What about the measurement for ES? ES. 3.8. I like 8. Yeah, make sure that yeah, first slash is right in the middle of that point. So I like 3.8. What about ST? ST. 3.5. I think it's a little less than 3.4. Yeah, I like 3.4. I like it the same as the VE. So these two are the same. And then TV. TV is 1.9. I like 1.9. What's my scale factor? One fourth. So would I multiply by four? What would I do? I divide by four, right? So I'm dividing by four. So R equals one fourth. So I'm going to help you because these are decimals. So we're just going to take each of these. We're going to divide. So 3.4 divided by four equals 0 0.85. So since we only have 10 slashes between our centimeters, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So it's 0 0.9. And then we're going to go, can I go right down to the third one? Because the top one was 3.4. So if this one's 3.4, then what's this? 0 0.9. So we did two in one mathematical process. And then 3.8. 3.8 divided by 4 gives us 0 0.95, but we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So what is it to the nearest tenth? One. And then my last one, 1 1.9 divided by 4 gives us 0 0.47. So 0. Point what? 0. 0.5. Okay, so we have all the measurements that we need for V prime, E prime, S prime, and T prime. However, if you come back to this, what we don't have is we don't have this measurement right here to put our point because this was not one of the lines. So measure VS real quick. What'd you come up with? 4.9. Uh, I like, yeah, I like exactly five. So VS is five. So that means VS prime would have to be five divided by four. And so five divided by four is, is who? 1.25, which is, we're going to go 1.3. Okay. It's a little bit, a little bit less than 1.3. Uh, just write it right next to A because that's the only one that was not on your chart. Because as you look at your dilation, this right here to get this point right here, we want to make sure that we find one fourth of that. So I know now I don't have a ruler, so this is how I do it. Here's half right in the middle. And there's one fourth. And there's three fourths. So I'm going to put right there. Now you get to measure. And your VT prime is, or they called it TV, not VT. TV is at 0 0.5 centimeters. So it's 0 0.5 centimeters right here. And that's going to be called T prime. And then VS prime is going to be 1.3. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm going to cut it in fourth. And there's three fourths. So I'm going to say that this is S prime. 
And then for VE, if we go back to your chart, your VE should be 0 0.9 centimeters. I'm going to do my, there's half, there's three-fourths, there's one-fourth. So there's E prime. <clears throat> so your reduction, let's go a different color. Looks like that. Okay, so let's see if you can answer this question. How many of these yellow little quadrilaterals would fit inside the original? How many of those yellow quadrilaterals would fit inside the original? How many? Close. Eh, are you guessing or are you using math? One fourth. One fourth squared. One sixteenth. Yep. So that little yellow is one sixteenth. So that means we would take 16 of these and we could fill in that entire quadrilateral. So it's always a square, square factor squared. If it's a reduction, then you take that fraction and you square it. So the yellow is 1 16th the size of the big one, or it takes 16 small ones to make the big one. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything else on C. We selected our measurements. We showed all our calculations, so we're good. So we're on our last one before our exit ticket. Okay, so you're on your number four. And so we have to build this curve, but not with a scale factor of two. We have to use a scale factor of three. Okay, so they've already done the scale factor of two. So let me, and I'll show you what we have here. We called this one OA and this one A prime. And you're saying, I don't see those on there? Well, we did this. Our low point So the lowest point of the drop, we called that A. And this was A prime. And then our top part of our curve, we called that what letter? Look on the chart. What letter did we call that? W, right? So this was W. And this was W prime. Because if you just have the R and the S, you don't know how low the curve is supposed to go and how high the curve is supposed to go. So we did the bottom of the curve on this one. We also did the top of the curve. So draw from point O through the bottom of the curve, which is A and A prime. Draw a line. And then from O through R and R prime. And then from O through W and W prime. And then lastly, from O through S and S prime. Okay, so we have to do four measurements. What is the measurement from O to R? O to R. Measurement from O to R. I see 2.3. I'm going to do all. Uh, I'm going to do all. It's 2.3. And then OS. What's the measurement of OS? One point nine. Yeah, one point nine or one point eight. I'll go one point nine. And then OA, remember we added A. It's the bottom of the curve right here. So what is the distance of OA? One point two. 
And then what's the distance of OW, which is the top part of the curve? OW. I like 2.7. So quick math, which one's the easiest? 1 1.2 times 3 is the easiest. What's 1 1.2 times 3? 3.6. What's, uh, we've already done some of these, but oh, let's do this. This is easy too. 2.3 times 3? 6.9. 1.9 times 3, we just did that one. 5.7. 5 .7. And then our last one, 2.7 times 3? 8.1. So those are my four measurements. So you go for, notice these are double primes because we already have the scale factor of two drawn. So these are double primes. So you have your four measurements. Oh yeah, Is, did we lose our double prime? Thank you. So they're all double primes. So you have to figure out measure on your A line Go up 3.6. Let's see, what color shall I use for this? I'll use orange. And that's A double prime. And then for R, OR double prime 6.9. That's R double prime. And then for W, O, W prime, it's 8.1. And then our S is 5.7. And this one I have to draw fairly quickly because it'll try to straighten out my lines. So it looks like something like this. And that is a scale factor of three. Okay, your last piece, your exit ticket. It says figure A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime is the image of figure A, B, C, D. So here's your original. Here is your image. Is it a reduction or an enlargement? And how much did we enlarge it? Three, because it says the scale factor is three. So it says, what is the value of, so we have to figure out measure B prime, C prime. And then we're going to measure B, C. So what is the measure of B prime, C prime? What is it? Uh, I think we're really low on that, but maybe not. Actually, you know what? I think you're right on that. And then what's the measure of B, C? You should already know the measure of B, C before you even measure it. It would be 2.1 because why? It's one third of this, right? Yeah. So if I divide by three, so this times three has to be that. 6.3 divided by 2.1 is three, and the scale factor was three, so that's why it has to work. So it says, what is the value? Well, the value is three. It says, explain how you know. We say the value is three because the what is three? The scale factor. Because the scale factor. What letter do we use for scale factor? Lowercase r. So the scale factor, the lowercase r, is three. That's how we know that the image line segment would be three times larger than the original line segment. And then it says draw figure AB under a dilation with the center O and a scale factor of two.
Draw a straight line through there. Stra draw a straight line through the peak of that. And we're going to do an eyeball test on this one. Draw a straight line through the valley of that. Draw a straight line through the peak of this. And then your last one, draw a straight line from O through B. So with our eyes, can we visually see what doubling something is? Possibly. So I just look at the distance of this. I'm going to go, let's go blue. I look at the distance of that, so if I want to double that distance, I'm going to say it's about right here. So we're just going to do an eyeball test. We're not going to measure. So that's A prime. Then I'm going to look at the peak of this, so I'm going to double that. So I'm going to say it's about right here. We're just going to eyeball it. We're doubling it. Then I'm going to look at the valley of this, so I'm going to say it's about right there. Then we're going to go, this is the biggest one, from O to B. So looks like it's about right there. And then the peak, double the peak looks like this. And so then you draw it. And it looks something like that. So with the scale factor of two, my blue is my image of my black, and you should be done. So you have no homework on this tonight. Star assessment tomorrow. And then on Friday, we get back in. We skip 3.6. We go to 3.7. So that is it for your video. We are done for the day.